quick now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay! What's happening, guys? I'm Aiden from DK Tune, and today's video is on this gorgeous Octavia VRS M4A full carbon fiber forge uh, induction kit. And we also have behind us, as you can see, the Scorpion bolt on system going on it as well. So hopefully, it's going to leave the workshop sounding loads better and with some decent induction as well. So, let's get it. So this is the standard system underneath the VRS going all the way to the back of the car and this is the new Scorpion system to go on the car. Looks loads better and hopefully it's going to sound loads better too. So the new Scorpion catback is now on the car. We're just trying to figure out with the customer what tips they want on the car. Uh, just because the standard ones don't look right and the new ones don't really look right either. Uh, so we're trying to uh, maybe figure out a different double tip or something, probably look better. Um, so as soon as the customer lets us know, then we all do that. As you can see in the background, the Octavia VRS is now back with the new operated clutch in it. Now we're gonna go and put it on the ramp and start taking the turbo off to make room for the new turbo to go on. So to go on the Octavia VRS, we have the Forge full carbon intake system in that box. We also have the four inch uh, DCAT downpipe from Track Slag. We also have the Wagner uh, intercooler to go on it as well. And we have a new reconditioned Golf R Turbo. Oh yeah, let's get it. This is the old Octavia VRS Turbo that Dill's just pulled out of the car. The car has had the uh, Wagner intercooler put on it as well. You can't really see it, but it has come out. Uh, so obviously you've got all the space at the back now. And moving over to Dylan's toolbox, we have the new Golf R Turbo to go on. So Dill's gonna start putting this on, and then when it's on, we'll show you what it looks like and stuff. Um, and then we're going to move on to the intake and also the decap pipe is off the car as we move to the back This is the exhaust off the car uh, the decap well the cat has uh, The cat pipe has come out and now we've got the new decap pipe to be put on when Dylan's put the turbo on as obviously they're connected In the engine bay of the VRS, guys, you can see that the new turbo is now fitted, plumbed in, um, and now it's just a case of Dylan having to uh, re-attach all the different hoses and stuff, and then we're gonna, well, he's gonna start work on the new intake system, um, and also the decap pipe as well, isn't it? Yeah, four inch cap first. So we uh, doing the decap pipe first? Yeah, the decap then induction. Down. So, decap pipes going on first, and then the induction kit, the forge induction kit, and then we'll be able to take the car out 
uh, do the mapping, and then it's gonna be an absolute beast. Underneath the VRS, we can see that Dylan has now fitted the big track slag uh, four inch decat downpipe. This is this thing is gonna sound absolutely insane. So we're gonna put the rest of the exhaust on and start it up uh, and make sure everything's all right to start on the mapping. We've also got to put the full carbon intake system on as well before it's started. So let's get to it. As we can see at the front of the VRS guys, we have the new AirTech turbo elbow in the back going into the Forge full carbon induction kit. So now we're going to take the car out and do a little bit of data logging and also the dyno and runs and see what it's making. Uh, we're guessing about uh, just over 400 brake horsepower, which is going to be really, really good. And this car is absolutely rapid anyway, so it's going to be an absolute madness. So that was the first start up of the VRS after the new turbo and everything's gone onto it and it sounds loads better. So now we're gonna make sure that everything is all pucker and take it out on a test drive and then sort the map as well. So when it's mapped, it's gonna be absolutely evil guys. So make sure you stick around. What's happening guys? So we're just going out with Fab uh, he's sorted out the map and stuff and we're gonna be doing some data log runs in the VRS and also the dyno as well. So we're gonna have a look at what it is like. Is <laughs> 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 it quick? It ain't too bad, is it? So I just took this car out just for a quick test drive, uh, just to bed the turbo in a, a bit, uh, just for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, so obviously I couldn't boost it or anything, but now it's boosting and it boosts hard. Oh my God. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that's quick now, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> was that spinning in second? That was, yeah. Jesus Christ. Just it's boost, it's proper off, isn't it? Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's proper off when it hits boost, guys. It's proper aggressive now. It's quite linear to start off with, and then it literally just hits boost, and it's gone. <laughs> so the VRS is all done. It made 392 brake horsepower. Madness. Absolute madness that car is. So, if you want like uh, all this kind of work done, uh, brakes, exhaust, and mapping, then please do not hesitate to message us on Instagram and Facebook and also like the video and subscribe to our YouTube as well. And we'll see you in the next one.